Right, moving on a little bit. You'll notice most of these around the face. That's because your face is your major nerve centre of your body. Um, you know, eyes, lips and everything are all quite pain intensive. They're all very sensitive areas. There are areas, like I said, I know three of you need striking points. Some of these I wouldn't use simply because if a guy's got a handkerchief in his pocket, there's one missing. Or if he's got a wallet on the inside jacket pocket, there's one missing. So we're going to come down the body just a little bit now and understand one or two others. But just for Andy for a second, then Carl can do the demonstration. If you take his ears as a straight line, and imagine long pieces of string coming down. We've got a line down there that's a very sensitive line. Now all I need to do is just press that line and you see how he goes into the pen. Okay? If I come off the line, then I can press quite hard and nothing happens. So the easy way to find it, I know this may sound amusing, is to imagine somebody's wearing very long earrings. Because gravity will make a straight line from his earlobes right down to more or less his hip joint. And all down that line is a very sensitive line. So the first one we're going to talk about, put your fingers over the top of his shoulder joint and the natural angle works that point and you'll get that movement there okay now if Cal just does that a couple of times on Andy just so we get the feel of it then we can put it into a, an almost a defense you can see what's happening there Andy's moving backwards now the same can happen if Andy has reached in and done a grab on, on Cal for whatever reason now Cal can utilize it on either side he's okay it doesn't matter he just reaches in and there's the pressure as a turn okay so these points are very very available and very useful. Now, if I'm not going to stand too many of these, a little strike onto it, Cal, again, say a block from a swinging front. So, Cal, uh, I'm going a slow swinging punch with his right hand. Cal covers the punch and then does a strike in that spot. And what will happen is it will deaden his arm and it'll end up dropping down here. We need to understand, if I'm just borrow Andy just for a second down here, remember that line? And this hand is quite strong. As soon as we protect this area here, you can see the weaknesses coming in. And you can see his fingers twitching a little bit there. Okay, so let's just shoot in and get a, a close-up of exactly where we are going. There's the earlobe. Follow a straight line down, like I said, if he's, if he's wearing long earrings. Put your fingers on the corner and extend your thumb naturally. Don't overextend, it's a natural extension. And there's the spot. And of course it's on both sides. Okay, so you've got to understand it works unilaterally and bilaterally, so you can either use one or both. Following that line down, you've got a lot of muscle here, and you're just going to let it force it out for a second, can't do this one in a, in a minute. If I follow that line down, roughly the width of my palm from that one, there'll be another one there. You see how sensitive that is? Just a little touch, and Andy's moving away. Now, what Carl's going to do here, and Andy's not going to be too grateful for Carl doing this, is cover and use this single knuckle. If you can just focus in and close in on the way to make this grip, you'll see what I'm doing. I'm wrapping the fingers in such a way that this one is high, and then I'm supporting it. That gives me a very solid single knuckle. And it's all about square areas. Okay? A fist, roughly 3v2, has got 6 square inch impact. So 60 pound of pressure is going over 6 square inches. It's only 10 pound per pressure on each square inch. You use something like a single knuckle that is half a square inch, and 60 pound of pressure becomes 120 pound of impact because the half inch doubles it up. So it's a bit like having a pointed nail or a dull nail. So what's going to happen with this particular one? Carl will do a block, single knuckle strike onto Andy's muscle. 